In this exercise, we're going to get you to look at phase differences in a resistor capacitor circuit, an RC circuit. And we provide you with a resistor and a capacitor, hopefully already mounted, so it's easy to connect to. Now firstly, we need to connect this resistor and capacitor to the power supply. So I'm going to use the AC output power supply. It doesn't matter which way around it's connected because it's AC. And essentially what we have here now is a circuit. The voltage comes from the power supply through across the resistor, across, across the capacitor, across the resistor, and back to the power supply. So there is current flowing through that circuit. Now, to measure the voltages in this circuit, we're going to make two voltage measurements using both channels of the oscilloscope. So we will need two probe leads. But an important thing about oscilloscope probe leads is one of the inputs is an earthed input. And so whenever we connect that earth input to a circuit, we have to make sure that all earth inputs are connected to the same part of that circuit. And so what we need to do is first off connect two probe leads and if you have a probe lead that has an alligator clip or a hook on the end like this one you'll find it will be best to put that one into channel one and then any other probe lead whether it's got alligator clips or something else like banana pugs you can put that onto channel two and step one it says connect uh, earth leads to point A in the circuit. Now point A in the circuit is where the resistor connects back to the power supply. So somewhere along there. So I can connect the black earth lead of this channel to that point by plugging in there. Whereas with this probe lead I have an alligator clip. Effectively the same point is the wire on the earth lead there so I can clip onto that. So both the earth leads of the oscilloscope are basically connected to the where the resistor goes back to the power supply. It then says connect channel 1 input to point B, and point B is the point between the resistor and the capacitor, which is why I suggested if you've got something with an alligator clip or a hook on the end, plug it into channel 1 so we can just put the hook there on that point. And so now we're, that will monitor the voltage between the resistor and the capacitor and then the other channel of the oscilloscope simply needs to connect to point C, which is where the capacitor connects back to the power supply. Now we'll get the oscilloscope on, and we need to set up the oscilloscope. We'll start by pressing default setup. We want to see both channels now. Channel one is already on, so we'll also turn on channel two. Now, we need to adjust the voltage so that we can get the full height of the trace on the screen. Let's just turn the menu off. Again, I'll turn the voltage down to about 5 volts per centimetre for channel 1. I also have to do the same for channel 2. At the moment, you'll notice now that channel 1 is on 5 volts per centimetre. Channel 2 is still on 1 volt per centimetre. And so I'll adjust channel 2 now to 5 volts per centimetre. Then we'll slow down the time base so we see a reasonable number of cycles on the screen. And basically, we want to be able to see a full cycle, and we can see that now. 